For many of us, flying to Alaska, it's a dream come true. But AOPA Live's Paul Harrop found the story of a pilot from Alaska who has been trying for years to make his bucket list flight to Air Venture in Oshkosh. This is more than an orange wristband. This is the realization of a dream. I like it. Meet Lee Griffin. After years of wanting and years of trying, and with a very serious road ahead. My very first time to Air Venture. We came down basically reverse of the old Alaska Siberia route. He finally added Oshkosh to his extensive air show resume. It's not my first rodeo, but uh, to have this many airplanes all in one place in one time and this many wild and crazy folk in one place in one time is, is unique. Well, sir, I don't know what you mean by that last statement, but... Uh... Well, you got to be wild and crazy to own an airplane. Especially a T-28. He bought it from the state of Alaska. They used them for lead-in airplanes for the Bore 8 bombers wildfire fighters. Uh, after about six or seven years, the state decided they couldn't afford to operate them. That should have been a good hint. I'm not very bright. <laughs> But Lee has never been one to back down from a challenge. In 2000, he was diagnosed with cancer, and he beat it into remission. After years of restoring the Trojan, he was taxiing to take off for Oshkosh last year when a mechanical issue grounded him again. Uh, you can probably tell by my accent that I was born and raised in the South. Give up is not in my dictionary. And that spirit is serving him well in his next challenge. You see, Lee is trading this orange air venture wristband for a hospital wristband. Oshkosh was a stop on the way to MD Anderson Cancer Center in Texas. Cancer, it seems, is dumb enough to want to go another round with Lee Griffin. But like everything else that dares stand in his way, he's taking it head on. So he can be ready to fly back to air venture next year. Where can you see two Ford tri-motors taxi out and fly, you know, one after the other? Uh, where can you see as many warbirds in one place? Uh, you can't do it anywhere but here. In Oshkosh, Paul Harrop, AOPA Live. Thanks, Paul. Lee had a blast at AirVenture and plans to go back next year. See you there, Lee.